friends, welcome to the Gamers Addict Show. I am your host, Player One, and if it's your first time here, I want to welcome you guys to the channel. We're a retro video game channel that dedicates videos to um, retro video games, vintage toys, and even at times we have done some board games. So I plan to do more toy videos in the future. So as you saw, uh, recently, I canceled my retro game treasure subscription because it just wasn't working out for me with the price point and the value that I was getting from them. So, on the other hand, I still have my Love Again Media Box, which is my go to subscription. I really enjoy this box. Um, initially, um, I just wanted to do subscription services for one year to try it out, but it seemed like it really grew on me and I really enjoyed services from Retro Game Treasure and Love Again Media and even VGM at one point. But as time has gone by, um, this has been the one that has uh, stuck with me and the one that I really enjoy the most. So Love Again Media gives you video games for many different consoles. They do PlayStation, Xbox, all of the console generations. Um, they do a lot of cartridges, Nintendo, Sega Genesis. I have not gotten Super Nintendo, but you you may get that as well. Um, I have gotten Atari 2600 games. So you never know what you're going to get in this box. Uh, they have a tier of a 5 box, which is $21.99, which is the one that I currently have. And it has free shipping. And they also have $39.99, and it also has free shipping. In fact, all of their subscriptions are free shipping. Uh, they also do DVD movies, um, Blu-rays, a horror subscription box, and they even do vinyl records. So guys, let's check out what's inside of this box. Typically, from time to time, they may even throw an extra game in there, a six game, which is really cool. But always, you know, expect to get five games. And as always, at the end of this video, I will give you the price charting total of these games. So last month, it was crazy. It was absolutely the best box I've ever gotten from them. I got over $150 worth of games and it was insane. It was just like the amount of games. There were two games missing from that shipment of six games. So I did go ahead and reach out to Love Again Media. A lot of you guys were concerned about that. So I did ask them what, you know, what could have happened because that was the first time that's ever happened to me before. And they just said it was an error and that sometimes they buff the games uh, in, in their cleaning machines that, you know, they clean the disc and they may have just left it in there. So it, those games may be here in this box. They were time splitters on the PS2 and, um, Far, Far Cry on the Xbox, so I'm not sure if it's going to be in here, but you know, still it was the best box I've ever gotten. You saw that Castlevania uh, Symphony of the Night and the Kirby game for the GameCube, it was fantastic. So they always pack everything well, Ooh, a lot of stuff. So man, I'm playing a cart game already, so we're going to leave that one at the end. I don't know what that is, but... Every month is a surprise for me. Okay, this one's a, this one's not, um, it's a generic case, but let's see. PS4 game, wow. Valkyria Chronicles Remastered. Okay, I have this on the PS3. It's in my collection. I've never played it. You guys let me know what, how, you know, how good this is. I believe this is a, could this, it's a Sega game, so I love Sega. Is it a strategy RPG? I'm not sure, you guys let me know in the comments, but what a way to start off the box. So, not complete in box, but still, that's a disc game. Okay, second game in the box here. Oh wow, White Chronicles International Edition. This is a Sony game. I've heard about this game. It is an RPG, so, Pretty cool, I don't have this. White Chronicles. This looks great, as always. So I'm happy to add this to my collection. 
I've heard a lot about this. I've never played it. So let me guys, let, let me know in the comments. Uh, pretty cool. So I guess that's two RPGs. Third game in the box. Oh, Dragon's Dogma Dark Risen. Cool. I have played this, I believe, on the PlayStation. So that's really cool. So it has both of the discs in there. And I, I don't have this on Xbox 360, so that's a really awesome way to get my third game. And the discs look really excellent, as always. No complaints there. Awesome. Fourth game in the box. Oh no, it's a, I think it's a cart, dude. Okay, it's, um, oh wow, look at this. Game Boy Tony Hawk Pro Skater. I played this on the PS2 and I absolutely love it, but I've never played it on the Game Boy, so that's really cool, dude, a Game Boy Color game. So you, you see, I told you, like, you get carts as well. And we have one more game in this box. feels like an N64. No, it's an Atari game. Check it out, guys. This is so cool. Um, it is, uh, oh, they packed it really well. <laughs> it's Crystal Castles. I actually don't have this game. I used to have it, but mine had um, label damage. And, um, I don't get this out. Okay, cool. Crystal Castles on the Atari 2600. This is a fun, fun game. It's one of the best games on the 2600, in my opinion. Okay, guys, so after adding up the price charting totals of these five games, it came out to $41.84. The most valuable game of this lot is uh, Valkyria Chronicles from Sega, followed by uh, White Knight Chronicles. So yeah, really, really good box. Um, I'm really happy with these games. Uh, my pick of this box is going to be Dragon's Dogs. Um, my goodness, me and my pronunciations. Dragon's Dogma from um, Capcom really good uh, role-playing game followed by Crystal Castles, which is an amazing Atari game. You have to play this if you have an Atari and um, Shoot I might even Put this on now with that new Atari that is coming out soon. I definitely want to play this in high definition That'd be really cool But anyways guys if you like this subscription you can go ahead and use my promo code gamers addict to get 15% off your first box. And remember, it's always free shipping, so it works out really, really well. So guys, what did you think about this box? Did you like it? What was your favorite game? Let me know in the comments. And as always, guys, you can support me here on The Gamer's Attic by hitting the like, subscribe, and notification buttons to stay up to date on what is going on in The Gamer's Attic. All right, guys, I'll see you next month for a real spooky treat, and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, guys, game over. TGA.